This is one of my refurbished KitchenAid direct drive washers. This washer is really special because KitchenAid only made washers for kind of a small period of time. And this is one of the last years of the KitchenAid branded direct drive. The difference is this washer has a porcelain top, has a much larger finned agitator, and also has a motor with gold plated contacts on it, which whatever, it's kind of a nerdy thing, but it is what it is. We're going to do a little laundry on this one before I send it out. This washer is actually sold and is going to a customer, but before I sent it out, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I do to these machines. So part of my rebuilding process, I actually kind of make some slight improvements to the machine. If you look inside this cabinet, I do a lot of soundproofing. This is all like, it's like the equivalent of Dynamat. And it really helps muffle the noise down. I usually dismantle the tub assembly and I remove the tub and clean everything in the sink. And then I clean and do some touch-up painting around the base of the machine. Right through here. And then I put a commercial grade clutch, a commercial grade coupling, and that's really about it. And then I loosen the legs up and I put some never seize on them so that they'll never get stuck again. And I just kind of make sure that everything is in overall good condition. On some machines, I'll actually modify the inlet valve so that it will let in a 50-50 split when you call for warm water. This washer, I didn't do that. And I don't know why I didn't. I might do it before I send it out. This one has a temperature sensor kind of in line, so it might end up making its own adjustments after the fact. But I'll probably throw one in there just in case. I'm going to actually do some laundry in this one. Because this washer is going pretty far, uh, we're actually going to ship this, or not ship it, the customer's coming from the East Coast to pick this washer up, so I want to make sure that it's really like 1,000% good before uh, she picks it up and hauls it all that way. One of the cool notable things about this washer is that it still has the sound dampening pad on the bottom of the machine. Those usually rot out very quickly. So let me put this back together and we'll actually do a little bit of laundry. So this load I'm just going to do a load of my shirt. I'm not going to do like a crazy load but I am going to fill it up. If you guys haven't bought one of my new shirts yet, what are you waiting for? These are awesome. Okay, that's like kind of like a little bit more than I would have really liked to but it was only like a couple of shirts too many I suppose. So I'm going to do, this is going to be a normal wash. I'm going to do about a 15 minute wash. I'm going to use the high wash, high spin speed. I'm not picking an extra rinse. I'm going to pick the warm, warm and extra large capacity. Also guys, I bought this Tide on Amazon. It's powdered Tide and I really, I really like it. It smells really pleasant and kind of a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to use like a quarter cup of powder. It like, it's not offensive, the smell, and it does like rinse off pretty well. So like when it's done, there's very, very little in the way of odor. 15 minute wash, uh, high wash, high spin, warm wash, warm rinse. Here we go.
don't even need to check. These are fantastic. I'm sure of it. Oh, that's great. There's like no perceptible scent of soap. And it does a fantastic job rinsing. Another reason that this did so good is because I also do a warm rinse. And warm water does a much better job of loosening the fabric. So any detergent or dirt will release from it a little bit easier. A couple little curious things about this machine is that I noticed that the tub was leaning to the right a little bit. Now I set this machine up. I didn't level it. But this one was a little bit more than I was expecting. So I'm going to look into that a little bit. And then during the spin, it was making a little bit of a whirring noise. And I think that might be that nylon gear in the transmission. So I'm probably going to rebuild the transmission. I might have done, I think I did the transmission on this machine. I might have done something wrong. But I'm really glad I did some extra loads with this because I definitely want to investigate that before I send it on its way. But this washer is really quiet. It does a really good job washing. And this is probably one of the best direct drives out there. I have this almost the same washer at home. Mine's just a couple years older than this one. Thanks for watching.